Um, well, I think the penalty kill was, was big. You know, we didn't, we didn't start the second period, uh, you know, kind of like we started the first period, Mark Martin over to Sharp, uh, let one in. I thought our, our penalty killing was, really, you know, it gave us a good boost. And you need different things every different night for things to work out. And I thought we got to our game. Obviously, the, the Jason Zucker goal was big, kind of settled us back in. And I thought we got back to our style and uh, back to our identity. Took a little bit longer than we'd like to, but it's not going to be easy. I think it was a great reminder how hard it is to win this league, and um, you know, really proud of the group that it wasn't going to be easy. But we dug in a little bit deeper. We found our game, and uh, we I thought we took over probably right after that kill for the most part. Does it show growth? You know, from earlier in the year, we've talked about the, the growth the team has made, but they were able to find it in the middle of the game and then it let it snowball off. That yeah, I think big time because I think. You know, we talked a little bit after the game, the growth that, you know, we've been fortunate during the stretch. We haven't had to really dig deep and find it halfway through the game. Um, we're able to find a route. We usually started with it right away. Might have lost it for a little bit and got it back. But this was one of those nights that took us a while. Um, but we didn't go the other way. We didn't deviate. We knew it was in, it, in, it, in us. And I think we just need to find a way to, to get it out. McDonough has been evident on the ice. We talked about his leadership. What have you noticed from him on the ice? It's been great. Was he plus six? six. Yeah, could have probably been plus nine. You know, he had some really good looks there too. No, I think he's such a, obviously, talk about him all the time. Um, he's such a big part of our group, the leadership. Uh, he looks enthused to be playing hockey right now. He's enjoying the group. And he's such a such a great player when, when uh, you know, when you see him tonight, how he closes on you and how he, how he skates and the leadership. Nobody really sees the leadership, but what he brings in the room is, is, uh, is pretty good. Red Tide's yeah. record tie for, for point streak tonight. What does that mean to your group to be able to, to get that done? Um, yeah, I don't even know if we're really thinking about it. I mean, I think we've been pretty good at staying in the moment. Obviously, enjoy each victory. These things, you know, you, you have to celebrate them a little bit through this run, but then you got to wake up in the morning and, and get ready to go again. And uh, let's enjoy it for tonight. Um, it's special to, to tie it, but we've got another game to play. You mentioned the Zinner goal. You, you like the way he's assimilated himself so quickly in, in such a short time? Yeah, I'm not overly surprised. Like, I had him uh, coach him uh, a little while ago. And uh, no, the way he skates, his competitiveness, he's got leadership qualities, he's got a knack for scoring big goals. Um, he's fitting really good. That goal that, that Evangelista scored, is that kind of symptomatic of just the confidence that he's playing with right now? Yeah, I think him and Noah both with the same with we spoke. I mean, I think they uh, they got it going on right now. Um, they're skating as good as they skated all year, and uh, they have the capabilities of making special plays. And you know, you talk about going on a little bit of a, a run here. I think they get overlooked. I mean, they're they really kick in that secondary scoring that maybe we missed most of the year. And to see them be able to carry, they're kind of carrying us at different times. Everybody's pulling the rope, but it's nice to see them get. McCarron mentioned that the third period is really where you guys have be begun kind of asserting your will on everyone else. That wasn't the case at the beginning of the year. What in your mind has kind of led to that? I think growth. I think understanding. Um, I think, you know, you talk about the growth of relentless. I think that's kind of what our third period just starting to look like. Um, we're on top of them. There's not a lot of space. We're not sitting back. I think in, early in the year, we're probably in between a little bit. We lacked a little confidence closing out games. Um, through the stretch, we're, we're gaining experience, we're gaining maturity, and we're understanding certain situations. Tell guys I've got on the penalty kill a little bit. I think yeah, what do you think about him tonight? I thought he's really good. You know, unfortunate you know uh, to be on for a goal or two, but I thought he played really well. Um, he's mobile. He, he moved the puck. He had some really good look, good looks offensively. He's, he's a smart player. You talked this morning about how sometimes you need the, the veteran core to kind of carry a team, especially at this point in the season. How much did Roman specifically do that, especially early on in the season? Well, I mean, he's been doing it all year, but I think he took over a game a little bit. We talked about in the Seattle game, and again, a little bit this morning, how he gets off and gets overlooked. Um, but he made some really special plays. Um, he's having a great year. People, like I said, overlook him because he's done it for so long. He's had so much success, but um, I'm grateful to have him on our team. He drives it both on and off the ice.